Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where it is snowing in summer because that's a thing that can happen in Yellowstone and it actually is. Yellowstone weather is weird. Um, but uh, things are things are looking a little bit not great. Robin is at 18% health and that worries me a lot. Uh, the other pups are all at about 19 pounds, so they're getting pretty close to, uh, to aging up. I think Griffin is the smallest at 18.7, so they're close to, uh, they're close to being pretty set for the summer. The problem is, I don't know, what are we to do with Robin? If we look at our map, that's ominous. You know, I, I think we're gonna we're gonna woof him back in the grass here because I think we have coyotes. This is not what I anticipated. All right, Condor, Condor, please, Condor, please, Antares, please, Antares, Antares, Antares. There we go, Condor. Thank you. All right, there's coyotes. Oh, there's two of them. Get out of here. Leave. Leave. Get out. Get out. There we go. Good. They have left. All right. Um, the problem is. This is not ideal. This is really not. I think, oh boy. Um, is that Junction Butte wolves that I'm smelling on the wind? It is. All right, I think we're gonna go see if there's stranger wolves to chase, which we can't do with Robin, but honestly, if we find him and we chase him out of our territory, I think Cassia may try to bring Robin with her because she's worried enough about Robin to want to make sure she's not gonna not gonna have the chance to get worse we just gotta make sure that these guys are not lingering around in our territory is this maybe they're not maybe they're not all right i think we're gonna try bringing robin with us which scares me a lot but her situation is getting dire enough that i think if we don't she could be in real trouble and if something bad happens along the way, which I certainly hope it won't, well, something bad could have happened here too. I think if we do that, we do have to make sure we bring Ton with us though. So the affinity is at 99, we'll probably try to boost that all the way back up. And then we're gonna go mark some territory and hopefully that goes all right. All right, Robin, come with us. Uh, we're going to bring her further away from the grass so that hopefully she does not go into it. Let's play a little bit. We'll play about and make sure the affinity is at max. And then we are going to woof. We'll woof so that condor goes back. Guys, please. All right. Robin, we have to catch Robin before she goes in the grass, though. We have to catch her before she goes in the grass. All right. This scares the life out of me, but I think Cassia is desperate enough. So hopefully Ton comes with us. We probably should have called him first. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try calling him now, and hopefully he'll come with. Yep, he caught the beginning of that, and off we go. All right, I we marked the territory. I would like to bring Robin with us hunting, but I need to check something, and I'm too scared to do this at a great distance to the den. I don't think I think the. The woof, I think, if I understand correctly, is limited by range. The woof and the squeak, I don't think, are like the, um, the long-range howl. I don't think it works if you're across the map. <laughs> but I have to make sure, and so I have to be near the rendezvous site so if that something goes wildly hecking wrong here, we don't end up just abandoning all of our other poor pups in the open here. That's a that's a buck meal deer. Uh, if it's limited by range, then I think, which it should be. Okay, so there's the pups. I want to go until I can't see their name tags. We're gonna find this. So let's go here. Robin, we're gonna woof into the grass. She gonna she's gonna go back to the rendezvous site. That might be kind of a moot point anyway. Yeah, she's going straight back for the rendezvous site. She's not gonna just go into any grass. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can bring her hunting then because we're gonna have to run too far and the second I put Robin down, she's gonna disappear and we're, it's gonna be bad. I think we have to bring her home. What's she at right now? 15% health. This is really not what I was hoping for, but 
I don't think we've got a lot of options here. I think we need to, uh, we need to bring her back to the rendezvous site here and then go hunting and get some food for the pups because otherwise we're going to be in a bad spot and that's not going to be great. So let's put her down over here. We'll let her go into this grass. We woof. We got to woof these guys back into the, the grass as well. Robin went and hid. All right, everybody's hiding. So we don't have the food to feed them just yet. Ton is hanging back a little bit, but we're going to go looking for some food. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work to bring Robin with and hopefully we find something quickly before this situation gets really bad. Well, there is a mule deer here. Did Tom come with us? I don't think he did. We're gonna call him and we're gonna hunt. I don't think this is a buck. I think this is a, yeah, this is a doe. Oh, I interrupted the hell, but I think he probably still heard us. So we'll wait here for him to get to us and then we'll go ahead and do a quick hunt and hurry back as fast as we can. All right, Ton is here. I think we can just swim right across and start the chase again. She's going back in the water, huh? Well, if you're going to cross it, then we don't need to swim. We can just chase you around the edge. She's going to she's going to try to uh try to use this water to her advantage to escape, but it's not going to work. Man, this looks like this is some crystal clear water too. Like this looks like this looks like quenchy water. <laughs> it looks like very quenchy water, and that's a bear. Uh, I don't think the bear is uh, quite as quite as peaceful and serene looking as the the water is. Let's uh, let's try and get a bite. Cassia should be able to do that. I think Ton will hopefully then be able to join in as well. Once once they both get a bite, it usually goes pretty dang fast. Um, oh, he got his bite. All right, we need to fall back. Oh, she she's slowing down. That works. That works. You, you want to slow down long enough for us to uh, get stamina back? That works out great. All right, 27 damage per hit is not at all bad. She is going to go on the run again, but it looks like Tom got a... Well, he, he got a bite, and then I think I immediately got kicked is what it looks like happened. But uh, he still got a pretty decent bite. Oh, you're going to turn around? All right, that works out. I'll go ahead and get a throat bite then. And they should be able to bring her down, or very, very nearly, I think. Oh, he's going in for another one and together here. Oh. Or not, I keep thinking, keep thinking just about, but it's not quite enough, I guess. There we go. There we go. All right, now let's get some food. And then let's hurry back to the pups before they all come wandering out of the grass. All right, here we are. We're just about back. We brought a meat chunk back for them. And I think these guys are probably actually pretty close to aging up. Like, I think... And they're not that that far away from reaching their their target weight so let's go ahead and we'll bring this food to them we'll try and keep them as fed as we can and then i think we'll try and spend the night but i don't know what that will mean for robin i'm a little bit worried because she's on like 13 percent health now when last i looked and even with us there if she doesn't recover i'm not sure she's gonna make it through the night I certainly hope she does. Let's make sure Griffin gets some food too. Well, that's Antares. Antares, stop stealing your brother's food! Um, and let's make sure he gets enough to eat because Griffin is our smallest pup and it's him who determines when, uh, when all, well, he'll be, he'll be the determining factor here as to when all of them are at the target weight. Did Robin finish that meat chunk? I think she did, which is good. Let's make sure, well, maybe, maybe she did not. Maybe she actually did not. No, she didn't. All right, we will then. And make sure our own food is good because we'll probably want to feed these guys again in the morning if we can. That's often a good thing to do. We just don't usually have the, the food for it. How are they all doing? Griffin could use more. Griffin, you gotta eat. You're the one who really needs it. He keeps, um, he keeps uh, not actually eating, which is a little bit of a problem sometimes. Oh, and goodness, we got a little bit of lag. I hope that doesn't mean lag in the old game meant something was about to uh, about to spawn, had uh, just spawned and was about to attack you. I don't think that's the case here. I am gonna woof them into the grass just to be extra sure, but I think. Oh, she's down to 12. Oh, Griffin is still at 67. All right, we got to call him back out then. It doesn't look like anything is rushing us, so I think we're all right. We just got to make sure that he gets his food, and then we'll see how things go come morning. Oh, that's that, that sounded like a good sound. That sounded like a good sound. That didn't sound like tragic death music. 
Oh, thank goodness. Robin. Oh, she's back up to 27 health. She was down to 11 when we went to sleep. And how, how full is everyone on food? I didn't even look. Uh, or on on um, on the the weight. 19.3 for Griffin. Let's uh, let's maybe let's maybe if we woof just one more time. Make sure everybody stays there. Oh, that's a relief. You know, I don't know if it was bringing her with that made a difference, but it certainly could have. And that is. That's something you guys have recommended. I definitely, it's not something I think a lot of our wolves will be willing to risk. I think a lot of the time they tend to feel like bringing a pup with would be a greater risk than leaving them behind at safety. Um, oh, I think Tawn is going to feed Griffin. Good, good. I just want to make sure everybody gets a little bit of extra food here. But I'm certainly glad that this time it seems to have worked. And I think Cassia is glad that she took that risk. Was that something in the distance? No, I think it was just a suspiciously shaded tree. I think we're all right. But everything is suspicious when you've been playing Wolf West long enough. It, it just is. You, you get paranoid. It does things to you. <laughs> everything becomes a predator. But we'll go ahead. We will let these guys sleep. It's not even night yet. That was just the afternoon. But I wanted to see if Robin actually had recovered or not. And so I think we'll let these guys rest another night, see how things go. It looks like Antares is already up to 20 pounds, so that's very good to see. And they're all doing pretty well on food, so we'll go ahead and we'll rest again. All right, uh, I did not mean to regurgitate. I think the game thought I was trying to when I stood up there. But let's see how everyone is doing. Uh, it looks like Griffin is at 19.8, so probably just a little bit longer. We probably just got to do one more hunt or something. And then you should be good. How is our territory looking? It's actually not bad. Some of this is kind of wearing out. But overall, things seem like they're going pretty well. So I'll just wait for them to eat up whatever whatever Tawn left. It looks like Robin is eating it. Hopefully Griffin gets some of it because he's the one who really still needs it. Um, did he get to eat? I hope so. Did you get to eat? I hope your sister's not stealing all your food. How hungry or how full? Oh, he's at 82. He's probably all right. Or let's woof, woof these guys back in the grass. And this is when the uh, the bears show up. This is, this is when there's just a thousand predators. <laughs> uh, I guess not, though, actually. All right. Let's go set out with Tawn. We'll do one last hunt. We'll bring back some food, and we'll see how things go. All right. Looks like we've got a meal here. I think it's just a doe, but we'll go ahead and we'll do a quick hunt and see. I don't know if Tawn has caught up to us yet. He started to stick behind at first, but he will, I'm sure, soon enough. Uh, I guess he has not. Well, we might uh, we might have it brought down. Probably not, though. Maybe maybe we will wait for him. I'm sure he's on his way. Uh, although we are doing quite a lot of damage. Oh, here he is. He's actually going to head it off. It looks like. Um, oh, we got we did get kicked there. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! We're out of stamina is the problem. But that probably bought some time for Tom to start to catch up. If we drive it back towards him, hopefully he will just jump right in. All right, it kind of kind of dodged him a little bit. But hopefully, oh, I think he's already caught on to what's happening here. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and we'll try to finish off this hunt. And then we'll see uh, We'll see if we can bring back some food for the babies again. All right, we got to eat fast because there was a bear and I hope it does not bother us. And I hope it was not, uh, oh, I think I see it in the distance there. Hope it was not thinking about heading to our den. Doesn't seem to have noticed just yet, but we got to... We gotta wolf down our food, be the definition of the saying, to make sure we get it before this bear catches wind of it. Here we are. Let's go ahead and we'll bring these guys a snack, and uh, oftentimes that and a little nap is all it takes to uh, to reach that ending. We'll let them eat up, and I think we look... Yeah, Griffin's at 19.9, so he's very close to being ready uh, if this does not do it, if this is not where we wrap up, then we'll let uh, Cassia take a little bit of a snooze. And then once she's done that, we should be uh, pretty much ready. And then we'll take a brief look at the pups and their stats and their adult coats. And then sometime in the near future, the video for the poll will come out where you can vote for which of these five you want to see become the litter heir. And then Cassia will have five litters, and at, well, assuming nothing tragic happens to her, which I sure hope it doesn't. But uh, once Cassia has had all five litters, the winners of each litter will then run against each other. And... That's not... I thought bear for a moment, but I think we're okay. I thought I saw something in the distance, but I, I don't think it is bear. I think we're going to settle down for a little bit, 
And yeah, keep an eye out for that video in a bit, but we're gonna let Cassie take a short snooze. All right, we took a little bit of a, I guess it wasn't quite afternoon nap, but uh, I think most likely it is just about time for these guys to, are they 19.9? I guess maybe not quite. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I think I'm, I tried to, tried to nap as it was time. Was that, is it time? There we go, there we go. It, it started to let me know it was time. All right, success. You've kept your pups alive and growing at the round of your side. You've now completed the Slob Creek episode. Congratulations if you like and keep playing. Uh, we wait to Towerfall and we've reached a milestone. We've got a family snapshot and now it is endless summer and we're not gonna, we're not gonna go through the endless summer here. Uh, we could do that at some point, but for now we're gonna actually cut out of the game don't you heckin' dare. Don't you heckin' dare. Nope, not like this, not like this. All right, guys, please. We're, I'm gonna get heckin' bulldozed by a bear trying to uh, get everybody back in the grass. All right, we got a woof. Please, no. Please, no. Nope, 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 nope. You stay the heck out. Get the heck out. Get the heck out. Nope, we're done. This is our victory. This is our victory. You can't steal that from us. Yeah, you better heckin' run. You better heckin' run. All right, we're gonna jump back to the main menu and I'll see you guys in the there in a little bit so that we can take a look at the puppos and see their stats. All right, here we are with Cassia and Taunt. Cassia, of course, we, she has her minus one stamina, minus one health, plus two strength and neutral speed. And Taunt, as for his stats, he has one stamina and minus one health. So we're probably gonna see a lot of minus health if I had to guess. But now, of course, we also have the pups, and all five of them, thankfully, considering that bear attack at the end, did manage to survive. So first off, we have Haze 2F, the eldest here. She has minus one stamina, plus one speed. Interesting. Does, Taunt doesn't have plus speed. I guess she just got some interesting recessive genes then. Uh, so she has a little bit higher speed, but a little bit lower stamina. Uh, Antares has one stamina and one strength. I guess, yeah, Ton has one stamina, I guess. Uh, and he did get some of Cassia's strength, but a little bit lower speed and a little lower health. Uh, Robin here has zero stamina, zero health, minus speed, and plus one strength, so she's a little bit on the slower side. Uh, but she does have some of that strength, and my goodness, I'm glad she survived that illness. I did not think it was going to work out this well for us. Uh, we also have Griffin, who has minus health. Amazingly, he survived that bear attack, uh, but also negative speed. Oh, he was- oh, he was a runt! Oh, so he has negative stamina, he got plus one strength. Despite having lowered stats, he's still got the strength bonus. Minus two speed and minus one health. I, I don't think I was sure if he was gonna be a runt or not, but it looks like he actually is. So he does have those lowered stats. And finally, we have Condor who has minus two stamina and plus two speed. So yeah, it looks like we did see a lot of minus stamina here, which, well, I guess we saw one plus, uh, I think it's Antares has plus stamina uh, from Ton, but a lot of them got Cassia's minus. But that is all the pups as pups. We will take a quick look at them in their adult coats now, and then there will be another video soon where we actually decide which one of them we want to become the litter heir, and then once we are completely done with Cassia's story, the heirs from all of the different litters she's had will run against each other, and one final heir for the Ravenwing pack will be chosen, and you guys will have the chance to do that. But that's a long ways off yet. We still have to see who's going to be the heir of the Northern Lights pack, and we'll be finding out very, very soon. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll take a quick look at it. All right, here we are, and first up we have Haze, and I guess I was wrong about what coat she got, but she does have a black coat, amazingly. This is one of the ones that's a little bit weird. Uh, these wolves, this is one of the new ones, I don't know the, I don't have the new numbers memorized, it's one of the DLC ones, but these coats are a little bit weird. Some of them don't look like they would be black coats. This one has some black on it, of course, but they genetic tested these wolves, uh, I think they said in a devlog, because these are based off of real wolves, and so they know what their coat colors actually were, and I think the theory is a lot of them turned whiter from aging and such not. But this is what Haze looks like, and my gosh, this is a cool coat. Uh, it is a genetic black one, but wow, I, I really like it. And she got kind of those palish eyes as well, kind of, they're, they're kind of a green sort of gold, but they're not super bright or intense. Uh, they really suit her though. So that is Haze, that's what she looks like as an adult. Let's go ahead and take a look at her siblings too. 
And here is Antares. He got kind of one of the classic coats. Is this the one that Remus has? 926F? I think that might have been the one Remus had. Uh, but it is a classic coat and it's a very pretty one at that. He also kind of has those greeny kind of goldeny eyes. Uh, they, they suit him quite nicely, I think. Uh, but also a genetic black coat. It seems like that is quite a prevalent thing in this litter. Uh, but that one I kind of guessed based off his coat. I think he has one of the darker ones. And a little bit of that reddish tint from Tawn, too, it looks like. Uh, but that is Antares. Next up, we've got Robin. She also has one of the classic ones. She's got the nine or five, eight, five, nine. I said all the wrong numbers. <laughs> eight, five, nine M coat, uh, which is really pretty. Very got that really nice reddish tint, too. Again, a genetic black coat one. And uh, these really, really bright eyes, uh, her stand out quite a lot against her very, very dark fur, which she does then if she has a black coat, because Tawn doesn't carry the black coat gene. We know she's black coat, gray coat, which does mean she would have had higher disease resistance, so it is fortunate that may have helped her out as well. Uh, and it's a good thing, too, because it seemed like she would have been in pretty dire straits without her coat color and her, um, well, Cassia's, um, one of Cassia's perks and perhaps even with Cassia's decision to carry her on that territory marking trip, I don't know. I don't know how much that made the difference between life or death, but that is Robin. Let's, let's go ahead and we'll take a look. We got two more left. Take a look at him now. We've also got Griffin, and I'm pretty sure he has an NPC coat, I think. This is, it looks like the 920, or the, um, not, yeah, 926F coat is the one I'm think I'm thinking of, um, or... I think that, I think so, but it has that white splotch on it and some lighter markings down the back that aren't normally there, so I think he got an NPC coat, and he also rolled the radio collar, it looks like, uh, and this also is a black coat, so I think all of them did have black coats, this litter, I'm pretty sure, uh, and he has kind of these lighter color eyes, they're not as striking as, um, I think it, was it, it was... It was Robin's, I think, that were really, really, really bright. Uh, but his are all, also stand out quite a lot. And I like that kind of white splotch he's got on his head. It's really, really cute. But that is Griffin. And let's also go ahead and we'll take a look at our last wolf, Condor. And I think she... Is this an NPC coat, too? I think this might be another NPC coat. Either that or it's one of the new ones. I don't recognize it, so I think it might be an NPC one. She also got a radio collar, it looks like, and she also got genetic black, so yeah, all the wolves this litter have the black-gray coat collar combination. Again, Tawn couldn't have carried a black coat, and Cassia definitely does. So we don't know if Cassia is black coat, black coat, or black coat, gray coat. I think black coat, black coat, I don't know if that can happen naturally. Um, I imagine it could happen if Pups, if you had one that really got lucky, that was Black Coat, Black Coat, and then somehow survived, but I think that's pretty tough to have that happen. Uh, but I don't know, but either that or we got some wild RNG this litter, I guess we'll find out if Cassia, if Cassia ever has a gray pup, then we know she's not. But yeah, it's an interesting thought. It certainly is possible canonically too. Um, I had to recreate her for the series here. I, you can't port wolves over or anything, so I did create her new into the game here. But even canonically, we know both of her parents had black coats, so even there it would be possible. But that is our pups from this litter, and we'll be taking a closer look at them more in depth and listening to their howls and all that in the uh, air polls. Keep an eye out for that soon. And don't forget to tune in to see who the heir for the pack of Northern Lights is because we'll be starting that story very, very shortly here as well. But we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.